We appointed nearly 300 federal judges and three great Supreme Court justices. And this week, those justices ruled to move our country forward with a merit-based system of education. How big is that? Isn't that big? Isn't that great? In other words, if you're a worker and you worked very hard in school, you got fantastic marks, somebody that hasn't done nearly as well, who perhaps has not worked nearly as hard, will not be taking your place on a school, college, or at a university. They're not going to be. We're going by merit. We're back to the old merit system that built our country. That was a big one. That was a big one. And then yesterday, the Supreme Court also ruled that President Biden is not allowed to wipe out hundreds and hundreds of billions, probably trillions of dollars in student loan debt, which would have been very unfair to the millions and millions of people who have paid their debt through hard work and diligence. They paid their debt off, like that man right there. Right? They paid it off, and now somebody's going to get free rides. No. They ruled against it, 100 percent against it. Amazing. And they also gave religious liberty a tremendous win. You know that. Not to mention the fact that one year ago, they ruled against Roe v. Wade. Something said, never going to happen. And you have to know how to discuss this, giving pro-lifers a tremendous power to negotiate and moving this issue back to the states where legal scholars and almost all others think it should be. But we now have an absolute power to negotiate. We didn't have that power.